Blessing time is offering time. You know, we at times think that when we give offering, then we get the blessing. But actually, the blessing comes before the offering and tithes. It's an, a way to show our gratitude for God's blessing in our lives. God has already blessed us. So when we give, we are not giving to get a blessing. So if you remember the first time a tithe was given, that was in Genesis, I believe in chapter 14, verse 18. It says, Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God most high. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham of God most high, possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be God most high, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him a tithe of all. You see, Abraham did not give a tithe to get a blessing. Because he already been blessed, he gave a tithe. So you have to understand your position in Christ. In Isaiah 9, 6, it says, For us, a, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. What a blessing to each one of us. If you have a wonderful counselor, you don't need anything else. If you have a mighty God that has been given to you, you don't need anything else. If you belong to an everlasting father who never ends, who has no beginning, you don't need anything else. Prince of peace, that means peace belongs to you. We should rejoice because this is the culmination of Christmas. He says a child is born, but a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder. So no matter what is happening, you are in God's hands. That is a blessing. You know, one of the remarkable positions, I, things I saw in the Bible, was this guy called Simon. You know, remember Simon? Luke chapter 2, 25 to 32. Luke chapter 2, 20, verse 25 to 32. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem, whose name was Simon. And this man, was, this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the lost Christ. So he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arm and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your serpent depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all Gentiles, all the peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. This guy did not see Christ on the cross, but he knew by the Spirit, that salvation and blessing has come to the whole world. So even he did not see what was what we are experiencing today, he was able to give thanks to God. What about us that have known that Christ went to the cross, that he was born for our own sins, and that salvation comes to him? How can we then show gratitude to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Almighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Wonderful Counselor. Brethren, we have an opportunity to declare the wonderfulness and greatness of our God, our Father, by seeding into his kingdom. Offering time, blessing time, the Lord is good. And all the time, let's bless the Lord.
Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. For the child that was born became a son you gave to us. And unto his shoulder, Lord, you said the whole government of the whole world, not the only of that of the United States, the whole government, and he will be our wonderful counselor. We thank you. That son became our mighty God. The son became everlasting father. The son is a prince of peace. And through him, Lord, you have brought salvation to the whole universe. And Lord, we have given out of gratitude and appreciation with thanksgiving and praise to your holy name. Accept what we've given, Lord. Multiply it, Lord. Let us make you famous once more in this land. To you be all the glory, for we have prayed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the body of Christ says, Amen.